What's the word, y'all? Rui Hachimura is the second domino to fall of NBA trade season. If you don't remember, Noah Vonley got traded from from Boston to the Spurs. I, I don't know. But Rui Hachimura is the first, like, rotational player to get moved. And with my luck, this happened one hour after I posted another video. So y'all getting this video, like, 24 hours after everybody's already talked about it. Who, who cares? We're here to talk about Rui Hachimura, the Lakers, and what the hell the Washington Wizards are doing. And for some reason, you're underwear. Rui Hachimura got traded from the Wizards to the Lakers for Kendrick Nunn and three second-round picks. One of them second-round picks is the Chicago Bulls one for 2023. One of them is for 2029. A, a, a pick of a 13 year old 12 year old. i don't even know how old that kid is but it, that's how far in the future it is and rui hachimura is now in the lakers jersey and the photoshops of him in the lakers jersey already look pretty clean angle gonna lie. and for the price that the lakers paid this is a w of a move this is an upside caliber move for the lakers and, and you haven't seen a ton of upside type moves recently from them rui has been a starter at some points in his career coming off the bench and other points and he had reached his breaking point because a couple days ago he got asked if he requested a trade he said no comment and he smirked. He he has been ready to leave Washington for some time. Um, so it makes sense for the Washington was to trade him. But for this package and at this time is what's really confusing to me. But let's focus on the Lakers. Report came out slightly after that they are looking when Anthony Davis comes back from his injury to have Rui sit and run the three with LeBron and Anthony Davis. And, and a lot of people are pointing out how the spacing doesn't get a lot better for a team that doesn't lack that does lack spacing. But Kevin O'Connor got some receipts. Uh, he's been looking at the second spectrum stuff. Rui Hachimura has made 39.3% of his catch and shoot threes since his second year. Um, and this season is about 36%, so it's down from last year. But this season has just been a weird one for Rui. It, 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 like, they have so many wings over there, so it makes sense that he hasn't been able to find his rhythm this season. And the Lakers team, they fight hard. You know what I'm saying? They fight hard. They got a lot of people that care, but they don't have a ton of overall talent towards the back end of that wing rotation. So Rui immediately comes in and becomes comes one of the better wings on the roster i wish he was better defensively or he cared more on def defense and maybe with this change of scenery we're going to see an uptick in his production defensively but he is slow laterally where he fits more like a four than a three but he's sm he's short enough where you see him as a three regardless for the price you pay would be in kendrick nunn with a rotation that has russell westbrook it has dennis schroeder it has austin reeves it has like a bunch of people that are ball handlers and of course lebron james like it, it makes sense to let kendrick nunn go to that next team and give up three these three seconds and the lakers still have a bunch of seconds they've been hell-bent on not trading one of those first round picks they got to upgrade at a position of need for very very cheap and i'm excited to see what Rui Hachi more it could be um because I, I genuinely believe this is one of the dudes that that could hit a new new potential hit a, hit a new best with him on a new team now playing with lebron is not an easy job the spotlight is on Rui more than it has ever been in his career from from gonzaga to washington to right there's no bigger spotlight than la especially if lebron is playing alongside with you and a lot of people shrink and some people blossom and we hope for Rui's sake that he blossoms because you know he's been dealing with a lot of stuff he's just in time away from the washington Wizards a little while ago for mental health issues so we rooted for him for that reason alone but again for the price you paid i'm excited to see him in a lakers jersey obviously just more overall talent for the lake show now we try to figure out what the hell are the washington wizards doing what are they doing again i understand trading Rui. He might have in, like individually requested a trade. You have Kyle Kuzma, who they came out and said today, we're not trading Kyle Kuzma. So you want to bring him back, which, again, we don't even know if Kuzma's even interested in re signing with your organization once this season is over. You have Denny Abdiya. You had a surplus of people at that position. So, again, it makes sense for Rui to be traded. But the time you traded him and what you traded him for is super super weird to me. Now, I don't think Rui Hachimura as a talent is good enough to get your first round pick. You know, I've been seeing people say, oh, how can they get in the first? I don't know. I mean, we don't know. We won't know. But him as a talent doesn't seem like one to get you first round picks. But the way he's been hooping as of recently, you know, you, he'll get you a 30 point game here, a 20 point game there. In between, you sprinkle in some six pointers or whatever. But the way he had been hooping, he might have had time between now and the trade deadline in a couple weeks to raise that value a little bit. And I am a believer that a lot of the trades we're going to see get done are going to be in the last day or two of the trade deadline because teams will get desperate. This offer from the Lakers, considering they have seven, before this, he has seven second round picks to play with, this offer would have probably been there in a week or two. But you accepted it now when maybe there was something better out there. Because you didn't get a player. I mean, no disrespect to Kendrick Nunn, Chicago's very own, but you didn't get a player that you care about. You get Jordan Goodwin to get a full contract, which I'm expecting to see very soon. He deserves a full contract. But you didn't get a player. 
You, you, you got a dude that's learning Algebra 1 is one of your trade chips today. Three seconds on the surface level for a guy, Rui Hachimura, who might have requested a trade, who, who's been in and out of rotation, yada, yada, don't seem terrible until you, you, re you really think about the draft history of the Wizards in the past couple seasons. Um, is it Tommy Shepard? Is Tommy Shepard the one calling the shots over there? Dog, shout out to Tucker. You can look up Sporting Logic on YouTube. He drops NBA videos as well. This is the five-year draft history of them. They got Johnny Davis this year who couldn't even see the floor. They, he can't see the floor with the Wizards being terrible. Corey Kisper is, is getting some PT now, and I've seen some pretty solid things. He's also an enjoyer of basketball. We got to interview him. He, he, he loves the game, so we got a lot of respect and love for Corey Kisper. Denny Abdia, who um, at times is super afraid to put the ball on the floor or even afraid to shoot shots. He's a hell of a defender. I love that part from him. But Rui Hachimura and Trey Brown Jr., they're consistently in this 9 to 15 realm. And out of all of this, nothing has materialized, really. Again, it's early to say that about uh, Johnny Davis, but, you know, it's early to say that about Corey Kispa. But, but you get what I'm saying? Nothing has really materialized with the picks and if they can't hit in the lottery, I know damn sure that 2029 pick and 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 a second round is probably not gonna hit. So it's just it is just very very weird to me. And if you look at the uh, the Wizards subreddit, y'all know once something big happens in the NBA, a big loss or a big trade where somebody get fleeced, if you want to use that word, I always like to go to the subreddit because this is the purest form of fandom here. And 11 hours ago, someone said, "How much faith I have in this franchise? None." That, that this had to be like two minutes after the trade um another post <laughs> another post that speaks for itself they just don't have a direction and they haven't had a direction since the time that that john wall and bradley beal were in the playoffs against the celtics like they haven't had the direction whatsoever so they do this deal because again Rui hachimura is up for uh, extension because he's on the last year of his rookie deal and them trading him away obviously they don't have to pay him anymore and their idea is to bring back kyle kuzma they're gonna do everything in their power to bring kuzma back I, I don't know what cool was going on in Kuzma's mind. I don't know if he's really looking at Washington as a spot, but it don't feel like it. It don't feel it don't feel like a spot that Kuzma would would sign to long term. And then you also got Porzingis on a player option. We don't know what he is really thinking. What is this franchise trying to do? I, I legit want to add like call Tommy Shepard and ask, what are you are you trying to make the play in this season? Because you, you're struggling to even do that. I know you've been dealing with a lot of injuries, but every team has. Are you are you trying to get into the Wimby sweepstakes? The answer is probably probably not. What is the direction? And Wizards fans have dealt with it for the better half of a decade now. Just not just not knowing what to expect day in and day out. I'm just happy we got three second round picks. Now we can add more players like never even seen that name admiral schofield cassius cassius winslin isaiah ty yamik zoo even the idea of tanking for the washington wizards is not interesting if i'm a wizards fans because what what have we what have we done once we've got to the point where we're bad you know and maybe it is their own fault because every single year that they are bad they're ending up with the ninth overall pick and by that time it's slim pickings that's cap actually that's cap that's cap i'm already saying that's cap denny abdi was drafted ninth no disrespect again i got a lot of love for denny i think he's gonna be a nice nba player but tyrese halliburton was in right there I know we could do a revisionist history about every draft pick and every draft class, but but they're they're they've missed a lot. They've missed a lot. And you want to know the worst thing? You want to know the worst thing about all of this? They brought back those throwback jerseys and they clean as hell, but I don't want to watch them because the team is bad and they're not fun. We I know I know bad and fun. You know what I'm saying? There are teams in the league that are bad, but fun. this team is bad and not really fun. I can watch me some Kuzma, Kuzma highlights afterwards. You got these beautiful, beautiful jerseys. You know what? I like the regular white throwback jersey more than I like the pink one. I know a lot of people love the cherry blossom. I'm not a fan of that one. But the with the white and blue one, one of the best jerseys in basketball. But it's it's on a team that ain't fun. Also been seeing a lot of memes about um, how the, the Lakers and the Wizards have made trades with each other every season of the last three, I think it is. So they got this one, of course. Um, they had the Russell Westbrook one in 2019, and then what was the last? No, no, 2019 was the one to to make the move to get Anthony Davis. They trade away like Mo, Mo Wagner, and actually, I can go look at the trade. Actually, I didn't even want to look at this trade. Look at this. Look at this trade. I'm not reading this. Isaac Banga, and then Jones, and then all of this stuff, and it ended up they were part of the Anthony Davis trade. So that's that's cool. And then now this one. So three trades: Russell Westbrook. Anthony Davis and now Rui Hachimura. I just hope 
that uh, more and better trades go down. <laughs> we're doing a single episode about Rui Hachimura. At the end of the day, you know, more likely than not, Rui Hachimura is just going to be a good role player for the Lakers. I mean, there's a world where he's better than that, but at the end of the day, he's probably a good role player. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the next video we're going to do is Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon gets moved on to his next team. Let's talk about it. Um, yeah. yeah. It's the Lakers, though. You know, Lakers thumbnail, Lakers player. This video going to pop off. I'm already knowing.